back everybody welcome to my channel thank you to all my new subscribers and hello to all my old ones um okay uh, as you can see here i've got some lots of things i'm going on here i'm going to show you um little things that i had been working on these were like little stones which were i'd gotten a bunch of these clear stones they're seriously just clear you can see they you know you can see through them and see right there so anyway i've been trying to figure out what i could use these for i think um jane's addiction had sent me these a while back this last summer when we did a swap and i've used quite a bit of them um what i originally had been doing was putting like these are the bigger ones excuse my nails yeah that nail polish seriously stained up <laughs> anyway i gotta yeah i'll fix that later but anyway um i had been taking nail polish putting it on the bottom so it would reflect in the gem itself and then i put like a gel on the bottom of it so you know it wouldn't just you know come off i mean it doesn't come off unless you like scrape it obviously but yeah anyway i just did it just for a little added you know security basically so but yes i had been taking different nail polishes and putting them on the bottom so that way you can see through them it's right there another example these were the Jessica um, the FX Rockstar collection that I had gotten a while back. You see right there. Let's see, and there's and that one. Okay. Well, anyway, I knew I could think of something else. Okay. Well, ever since I got my clear jelly stamper, okay, um, I had been thinking of other ideas, and I came up with this, you know, ingenious idea. To take these clear stones and put images on them like um, for example this one right here is a panda bear you see his little heads up there and his little body and his legs and that's what the back looks like okay but you can clearly see that you know he's a panda bear um, or like these little flowers right there uh, let's see, there's this uh, little heart right there. Um, this one is a rose. Let's see, this tiny one right here is the same rose. It didn't turn out too great, but I know what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see, then we have this butterfly. Right there, and I also did a different colored background, which actually pops a lot more. Right there, I don't know. I just thought these were um, this was a cute idea to utilize, you know, these clear rhinestones that basically absorb whatever color. Here, I'll show you whatever color is in the background, and it just kind of melds in, you know what I'm saying? Which is fine if that's the effect you want, but you know what's the point in having a rhinestone if it's not going to show up as well oh and like these for example these were so cute i put little duckies in some okay so stick around and um i'm going to show you how i did all this because i seriously think it was a super cool idea and i wanted to share with you just in case for some of those that you know had gotten these clear gems before not realizing they were you know see-through and what you can use them, you know, what to do with them, basically, to make them unique, make them, you know, one-of-a-kind nail art. So that way, you know, if you're doing clients or doing somebody's nails, they're like, oh my god, I gotta have that, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, as you can see, I've made quite a bit. So, okay, just stick around, and I'm going to show you how I did this. All right, we'll be right okay. back. So, this is how I came up with this. I took some, like, ticky tack, and I put the gems um, upside down inside the ticky tack, okay? So that way the bottoms are flat. And it's just easier to work with, basically. So if this is not enough light, because I took the flash off because it was just going to blind everything. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see right there, I've got five lined up. I'm going to do five different images, you know, to show you just some ideas. You know what I'm saying? And all using my clear jelly stamper. Because, yeah, it's so much easier for placement. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So I'm going to use my Born Pretty Store stamper that um, Anna had given me. And I've got a few plates over here on the side that I'll show you. Also, um, I'm taking a swatch stick. Yeah, I was testing out <laughs> things. I thought they're kind of kind of cute. 
a little too much glitter. But anyway, I've got some um, double-sided tape on the end of this. So, you know, when I pick up too much of an image, I can take it off really, really easy. Because you don't want to put any kind of anything on here. No acetone, no polish remover, or anything. Because it will cloud your stamper over time. And I'm not trying to cloud my stamper, if you know what I'm saying. I would rather not have to buy a replacement. Yes, it was cheap. But by the time I end up having to buy a new one, they're going to go up in price. So anyway, I'm going to use some tape. And then I just put it on here because it's just more convenient for me. Okay. So let's just get into it. We're going to move that aside. And I'm going to start with this black stamping polish. I forgot to shaken it up before I started, which I did a review on previously. Okay. And we're going to do the little duckies first. Okay. So I'm going to mix this bad boy up a little bit. Okay. So now, get all my stuff ready and do this. Scrape it down, pick it up, find an image that you like. Okay, I found one. And then what we're going to do is take off the extra that you don't need and don't want. Okay, so we're going to do that guy right there because he looks the best. Okay, so then what we're going to do is make sure he's where I want him. Let me. Okay. Okay, you can see right there and try to center him as much as you can. Push him down and there he is. I didn't center him too well, did I? But that's okay. So anyway, there's my little ducky. Okay, so we're going to move on to a different plate. Um, we're going to try these little flowers right here, right here on this plate. And I got this in a set. Um, I don't even remember where. It's been a long time. And we're going to make this flower. I'm going to use my Color Club Hollow Hues and the Blue Heaven because it's amazing. Okay. So we're going to take this, put it down. Way too much polish. Oh my lord. Okay. And where's my stamper? There we go. And picked up. All right. Let me clean it off real quick off camera because it's just so much easier for me to do that. Maybe it's a little dark back here. <laughs> okay, so there's my flower. Okay, so I'm going to take my little gem here and we're going to line it up like so. And put it down and voila. I'm going to use a dark background for that so the holographic will pop. Okay, let's see. Next plate. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one of these little bursts right here, and we're going to do that in this Jessica polish in the color Happy Endings. I had oops, I had gotten from uh, Miss Anne is Fun with Nails. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down. Every polish I get, I see if I can, you know, stamp with them. And this one actually stamps really nicely. So we're going to pick them up, as you can see there. And we're going to clean off all that we don't need, which is all but the one little image right there. We're going to lay it down. This is takes a little getting used to doing this in the camera. And it's you know mostly judging how far you are away from <laughs> what you're stamping, <laughs> especially when it's not your finger, because you could pretty much like, you know, place it here, then roll it. But yeah, so that one's a little off, but that's okay. Cause you know, these are like little resin pieces so I can clean them up with a little bit of nail polish remover or acetone and it's not going to damage the stone one bit and I could just start over. So it's no big deal. Okay. Next image I'm going to try is we're going to see how this works. Cause I haven't tried that one yet. So we're going to do that Let me put the, and we're going to use the MDU in the mint. Okay. Let's do that. Cause I think that's a really fun image, I think. So we're just going to do this. Now I think little intricate designs like this, I think taking off the excess, it might be a little difficult, but we're going to find out. Okay. And as you can see, it stamped awesome. So I'm going to, take as much off as I can because you know 
with as small as the gem is, all this stuff is definitely excess. And you just lightly take your little tape and pick up the excess, okay? So that's what we're left with. And I know it's just going to be the middle that's going to pop out. So we're going to see how that works. And it looks like the center didn't pick up at all. So that may not work out as much as I wanted it to, but we're going to find out. Okay, center and stamp. And apparently I waited too long and it dried. Yeah, okay, so let's try it again and see if we can go a little faster and not do the cleanup around that image. <laughs> Trial and error is all I got to say. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, clean off my stamper, make sure. Now I'm going to go like that. So, then we're just going to stamp it and see what happens. We'll do it on this bottom one down here so it doesn't... Let me see here. Okay. There we go. And there's this little stuff around the side. The excess, you can just take your little tape or whatever, and it just doesn't really matter. It's your ticky tack, so you know. But it's also obviously not centered, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> okay, and I've got one more. And let me take off this because MDU likes to stain things, I've noticed. Clean that little rubber off real quick. Okay. I'm going to one more, and I'm going to try is this one, and I'm going to get some clean tape. I'm going to try the little bow. Let me get some clean tape, and I'll be right back. Okay, so with this little guy, um, let's do the Moyu. Um, yeah, we're going to try with this one. I'm going to do just right there. Scrape him. Okay, well, let me, as you can see, it did clean or pick up. We're going to clean off as much as possible without totally ruining the image. Okay, right there. Now let's see how this works out. Let me, oops, and then I tapped it. <laughs> the struggle is real, people. See, and with your double-sided tape, you can just clean up your little stone and try again. As you can see, it's clean. No big deal. So let's try it one more time. Right there, whoops. Okay, pick it up. Let me get it wind up. Like so. And lay it down. And you can't see it now, but it's there. Okay, so then, let's say for, let's say the ducky, for example, since that's the first one we did. Um, the last one I did was yellow. But we're going to use this um, Tribal Sun by the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. And we're going to do a little orange one. So I just take a little bit of the polish. Take off, not a lot, but and then we're going to just swipe it over. Like so. Just a little bit, don't, you know. You don't want to overbrush it. It's kind of like with um, gels. You just kind of like want to move a little blob around, but you don't want to put too much because then it, yeah. And I'm trying not to get it on your other one. <laughs> but right there. And then we're going to let that dry completely and see how opaque it is um, for what you want. And with the little um, flower right here, I'm going to do a, a black. Excuse me, just a regular black. This, you know, is the wet and wild shine. Wild, wet and wild, wild shine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're just going to take a little bit and go around right there. Okay. Next one was that little starburst. Let's see. I want to do a darker color. Well, okay. Hold on one sec. Well, you know what? We're going to use. Let's use my Zoya blue here. This is Estelle. Okay. Let's see how that turns out. Like I said, it is trial and error working with what colors goes with what, basically. You know, just like with any stamping, really. But this is a little different because it is clear. I have done this a lot of times, and there's just colors that I didn't think worked really well. 
basically. So yeah, the, like I said, the great thing about it is you can take um, nail polish remover or acetone and clean up the little image and start all over again. Okay, so with this little blue bow right here, um, we're going to try, no, that's too sheer. Okay, let's try, we'll try this and see what happens. <laughs> it's all about experiments. If it don't work, it's okay, because I'm just going to do it again. It's not going to hurt my feelings, man. So we're going to do this. And I have not ever seen anybody do this. So, you know, to me, it was like a genius idea, basically. So now I can't wait to get more stamping plates with different images so I can do little funky things, <laughs> basically. And then down here where the little, you know, burst was, I'm going to use the Tinsley right here. It's like the peachy gold. Okay, and then we're just going to put just enough on there like so. All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and let these dry completely, and I will be back to show you the results. Okay, all dry. Okay, we're going to see how they look. And the little ducky, sadly, looks like I smeared him. And I'm thinking that this tribal sun was probably a little too dark. So I'll probably stick with the yellow, but it's not a big deal. I will, you know, redo him. Okay. Next one that we did was the little flower with the, uh, um, color club with this one here. I stamped with that and used it as black and I do like how it turned out. I would probably pick a different flower actually. So I will be redoing this one also because I just don't like I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> I like the combination between the black and the hollow, but it's just the wrong image. You know what I'm saying? Not a big deal. Okay, and let's see. This one was, uh, see, you can't even see it. So apparently the color combination was not that like great. This was the little starburst that we did, which was on this plate here. Sorry about the glare, guys, which was right here. And we used the Jessica polish, this one, and then, um, we used the blue Zoya polish on the bottom. So yeah, that wasn't a great color combination because you can't see it at all. So what were we doing with that one? This one was the little bow that I used the Moyu stamping polish. I have no idea what the name of it is because there's no, yeah. So I used that one and I used, I believe, yeah, it was this one as the background and, whoops. I smeared it also. <laughs> and get it to focus. And you can't see that it's smeared, but I can. So that one's a redo. So far, four out of the five are redos. But you know, as I showed you in the beginning, I have done a ton of these. So it's you know, it's trial and error and lots of practice. Okay, this one was the the MDU mint with Tinsley on the bottom as a base. I do like the color combination. I will be picking a different image though because, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but not, you know, it does come with like a little flower or something, but I'm just not feeling it. And that, in fact, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't center it. So, yeah, um, normally when I get done with these, I would, you know, flip it over and put um, either some like a little layer of hard gel or maybe even like a, like a gel top coat. Let me see if I got it here. Um, no, that's my base gel. Well, anyway, I can't find the top coat because it's somewhere. But anyway, I use this brand. This is the base, but I use the top coat of this. So, yeah, um, that's my little idea. And as I said before, it does work because as I showed you in the beginning, all the different, you know, see like the little ducky there. I thought those turned out perfect. And yeah, so that's my idea on to um, what you could you do with your little clear rhinestones that you get. There is multiple, multiple, multiple um, ways you could do this. You know what I'm saying? The different color combinations and whatnot. So um, I hope, you know, this helps somebody if they got a bunch of them and just don't know what to do with them. Now you do, you know, like I said, you can just put polish on the bottom of them and turn them in different colors and you'll have rhinestones that nobody else has. You know what I'm saying? I'm even given some out in, um, let's see, like personal swaps I've done with people and whatnot. So yeah. 
Um, so that's my time. Uh, I hope you guys like my little idea. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, constructive criticism is always good, but be nice. You know, I try to promote um, people being nice to each other and being supportive. But, you know, construct constructive criticism is always good. If you thought you have a better idea, you know, tell me about it. You know, and I'll see if I can, you know, um, try it out and show you guys. So, okay. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.